Welcome back to Smuggler's Cove. Excuse why, me while I put my browser into full screen. And again, I will point out that uh, we are playing this uh, game on BBS Nexus. On Well, I should say we are accessing BBS X through BBS Nexus so that we can play the Cove. Whatever. The point is that uh, in order to access BBS, you would normally ac have to access it through a terminal. We are using the great service provided by BBS Nexus that lets us access it through a website. Makes things a lot easier. Really, I kind of prefer a terminal, but I'm going to go ahead and do at least a few more of these games in BBS Nexus just to show it off, just so people will see it in these videos and say, hey, I can access a BBS without installing a lot of fancy software. This is so much more accessible. I can totally be a nerd for a night without learning some fancy piece of software. So, that's the theory. Let's go ahead and enter the cove. The cove. The treasure fleet is in town. Prices dwarf have skyrocketed. Except it says ski rocketed. You know, whatever. Everyone is rushing to sell their goods at top price. Fritz Couch has gone adventuring today. The bright sunlight on your skin brings you out of your miserable slumber. Every muscle in your body aches from sleeping on the hardwood docks. You wonder how many more nights of this abuse your poor body can take. As you walk through the warehouse district, you feel that this must be the tougher part of town. You notice a small rundown bar. The sign reads, The Gutted Shark. After looking around, you decide to head towards... Uh, well, start off with, I actually want to check something out. So, let's... Go to the gutted shark. I do not remember the password. So. Didn't there used to be an option here to talk to the bartender? Do we still need a password? What was the password? Uh. Oh, take a seat at the bar. Duh. Okay, okay. Um, let's uh, talk with the bartender. I want to go downstairs. Urchin. Okay, so you'd think I could remember that. Return to the bar. Go back to the main room. Head towards the cellar hangout. Urchin. Urchin, you whisper to the large man. He then turns and hollers, coming down into the darkness. You slowly make your way down the dark, musky stairs. Finally, you feel that you have walked into some sort of open space that is too dark to see. You hear a voice in the darkness say, It's okay. Turn the lights on. When your eyes adjust to the dim light, you find yourself in a fairly large, musky old cellar. You are surprised at just how many people are gathered around down here, engaging in illegal activities. You hear a rough voice below. Well, don't just stand there gawking. You're blocking the stairs. How rude of us. Uh, I want to leave the black market. We didn't actually check it last time, and I'm not sure what's sold there. Approach a cluster of tables at the rear of the cellar. I have clothing and weapons of foreign origin, and much more litter the tables. A hooded man stands silently watching your every move. What would you like to look at, he models? Uh, let's see. Browse through the items, look at the weapons, examine the armors, check out the garments. Oh. Let's browse through the items. You discover the following items on the table gold chalice, feather pen and ink. Flint and steel, sharpening stone, telescope, coil of rope, plug of tobacco, grappling hook, cannonball, eyeglasses, tobacco pipe, box of cigars, bottle of rum, bottle of wine, bottle of whiskey, flask of brandy, jug of ale. What are these things for? Hmm. Let's buy a cannonball, although I'd like to think we have those on our ship already. Swap the cannonball with your nothing or trade the cannonball with your nothing? 
Huh. What's the difference? Let's, uh, I guess, trade the cannonball with your nothing. Okay. I guess now we have a cannonball. Let's look at the weapons. Are the same weapons from the other place? No, they're not. I don't believe so, at least. What is an arc whip us? Hmm. Boomerang, boarding pistol. Nunchucks, samurai sword. Okay. Let's uh, return to the black market. Examine armors. Buy armors. Bronze, fi bronze fish scales, tournament chain, sea turtle scale, Aztec armor, tournament plate. Hmm. Garments. Now, do we wear garments with our armor, or can we just... Oh, okay. It's for, like, accessories, because we have gold belt, purple scarf, king's robe, merry men hat, blue pants, brown belt, brown wallet, red hat, rose belt, gown, blue gown, green shirt, brown shoes, colored gloves, cowboy boots, backpack, gold crown, mini skirt. Oh, yeah, you know, I need that mini skirt. I need that mini skirt. I'm, I'm just... I, I think I'm going to get a wallet. Since I'm not sure what this stuff does, I might as well get some stuff. Okay, so we can trade it with our cannonball, or we can swap it for our nothing. Let's swap it with our nothing. Okay. Right. No idea what any of that does. Return to the cellar. View yourself. Okay. So our item one, brown wallet. Item two, cannonball, armor, clothing. Weapon, dagger, ship, penance, status, land lover. Okay. Hmm. Let's talk to the old man in the corner. Uh, have you ever seen this brown wallet? Hmm, what an interesting item. Yes, I, I believe I have seen one of these before. It was when I was but a lad. The old man begins to recount a rather dull tale from his past. Finally, he gets to the part you've been waiting for. This modifies your defense by five. That's cool. Very cool. So all that stuff must have different effects on our stats. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we have a little bit of dry goods and a little bit of livestock to sell. We should probably do that since they said the prices were up. Okay. So why do we only have 14 out of 16 ship encounters? Hmm. Okay. Return upstairs. Return into the warehouse and docks area. Okay. Instead of going straight out and mucking around with our ship, I'm actually going to go to Main Street because we didn't finish exploring here. Okay. As you walk out of the main gate, the beauty of the island takes your breath away. The long path ahead to view leads down towards the side of a cove, disappearing into the lush jungle. Okay, so there's more areas for us to go to. It's not just sailing. That's cool. We can follow the path, head straight into the jungle, bury our treasure, dig up our treasure, list explorers, or view ourselves, or return to town. Okay. So, we can head straight to the jungle or follow the path, which also seems to be heading into the jungle. Let's follow the path. As you walk, you notice the jungle is filled with exotic plants and animals, which you've never seen before. You stop periodically along the way to admire them. Eventually, the path dead ends into the jungle. After looking around, you decide to head towards the caverns near the jungle. I like caves. Caves are cool. Okay, Smuggler's Cove, cavern entrance. You follow the path for a while, and you finally walk out onto the beach. The water is crystal blue. There are huge cliffs looming far above you. You see an opening into the caverns. You wonder what treasures or dangers await inside. After looking around, you decide to follow the coast island to Dread Pirate Robert's ship, explore the caverns, bury your treasure, dig up the treasure, sit down on the beach, and bandage your wounds. Hmm. It's 
explore the caverns. Explore deeper or look for healing mushrooms. Let's explore deeper. Without a treasure hunter, let's attack. We hit him for 25, he only hits us for 2. Attack. We are victorious. We gained 40 gold and got 158 experience. Let's explore some more. Small bat, that sounds easy. Kill it. Kill it. We are victorious. Explore deeper into the caverns. Treasure hunter, kill it. Explore deeper into the caverns. Huge rat, kill it. Explore. Kill it. Okay, he took a little bit to kill, but we killed him. Attack. Attack. Aggravated bear. Hmm. This could be a challenge. Nope, we are running the heck away. He just took more than half of our hit points. Okay, let's look for some healing mushrooms. You find enough mushrooms to heal 58 points. Cool, let's explore deeper in the cavern. While moving a small pot of stones to allow access to another passage, you should find a small chest with 50 gold pieces. That's cool. Let's keep going. Okay, small bat. Attack. We killed it. Explore. Found a wolf. Let's attack it. Oh, he hits pretty hard, but I think we can handle him. We are victorious. Let's look for healing mushrooms again. Okay. Explore. Your lantern has ran out of fuel. Any more exploration day would be impossible. Lantern fuel is a rare commodity on these islands. Red Pirate Roberts only rations so much each day. Okay. As I bash my elbow against my desk. Hmm. Can we dig up other people's treasure? Nope. <laughs> it was a thought. Okay. Let's go to the Dread Pirate Robert ship. There's actually quite a bit to explore in this game. More than I thought. I'm glad the Sysop talked me into giving it another go. You follow the path through the dense jungle. After a while, the terrain starts to change. The jungle has become less dense and more rocky. As you round the bend, you see the coastline. It is a beautiful view from the cliff, and you are now following. Or, excuse me, from the cliff, you are now following. As you look down at the cove, you see Dread Pirate Robert's ship in the harbor. You stand in awe before his enormous ship. Even the sight of the ship standing empty at anchor strikes fear in your heart. Oh, so we can totally steal his ship. Or keep going down the coastline. Or go to his house. So apparently this is like a map area. I mean, we can cut back into town. That's that's cool. It's not completely linear. Um, do we want to take the ship out for a spin? I, I kind of want to see what happens. Let, let's just do This is a horrible, horrible choice. Let's take it for a spin. Yeah, right. You realize this is probably a bad idea. If that were the case, then why would Trade Pirate Roberts need all these men running around, which he calls his crew? Yep. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's like uh, Morath's world. In any of the banks, it gives you the option to rob the bank, and if you try to do it, your character informs you how stupid you are for even considering it. Let's go back down the coastline. Let's go to the jungle. Okay. You must have been lost. For a while, you walked in circles, but you finally ended up at a familiar place, the Jungle Path. After you're looking around, you decide to enter the jungle. You head off into the dense jungle, cutting vines and branches out of your way. Every now and then, you catch a glimpse of a wi glimpse of a wild animals, a wild animals, <laughs> lurking in the shadows. You hope they are not stalking you. Yeah, they, yeah, they they better not be stalking me, man. I'll whoop on them, whoop on them, good. I can travel to a native village, find the caverns, stomp around the jungle looking for fight, look for healing herbs, or view ourselves. Give up and wait for the search party. Attempt to find your way back to town. Oh. Okay. Let's travel to the uh, native village. You must have been lost for a while. You walked in circles, but you finally ended up at a familiar place. The jungle path. Dang. Let's enter the jungle again. 
Travel to the native village. Okay. For a while you walked in circles, but you finally ended up at the familiar place, the native village. After looking around, you decide to enter the village, sneak into the village, view yourself, or return to the jungle. You know what? I'm a pretty straightforward guy. Let's enter the village. Ungoa. Only skilled warrior allow warriors allowed in village. You no come in until you are a better warrior. Ungoa. You leave now. Okay. Let's travel back to the village. I want to try to sneak in. Okay. We walked in circles. We were just here. Traveled to native village. Okay. Enter the jungle again. Travel to native village. Went in a circle again. Travel to native village. Okay. Either I hit a wrong key or we end up deeper in the jungle. Let's uh, explore deeper into the jungle. You find that you have just walked on a riverbank into a group of naked natives of the opposite sex. They are evidently pleased by your arrival. Uh oh. Bow chicka wow wow. You gain 100 experience. You gain 98 knowledge about the item. Uh, island. Oh, knowledge. Okay, cool. Okay. That does stuff that may like help us navigate the island better. All right. That's cool. Explore the jungle. You encountered Frenzy Jackal. He has 30 hit points. Let's kill him. Okay. We killed him. Cool for us. Explore the jungle. Wild Boar. 34 hit points. Let's kill it. He hits us 4. Or excuse me. We hit him for 4. He hits us for 11. Let's try again. We hit him for 19. He hits us for 20. Oh, well, he's almost dead. Let's keep going. We hit him for 25. We are victorious. We gain 28 gold, 238 experience. Uh, look for healing herbs. You find enough herbs to heal 70 hit points. Explore deeper into the jungle. Starving vulture. He should be easy. Nope. We hit him for 14. He hits us for 18. We hit him for 83. Oh yeah. You find 48 gold pieces on the body. You gain 202 experience. Cool. Let's uh, get some healing herbs. Explore. Wild boar. Attack. Attack. Let's uh, get some more healing herbs. <laughs> Explore deeper into the jungle. Drunken native. Oh, yes. But is, is the drunken native of the opposite gender. Mm -hmm. Attack. Okay. We murdered him straight off the bat. Explore. Okay, you've tripped over what appears to be a log. Upon closer examination, though, you find it to be the remains of some lost adventurer. <laughs> you search out his money patch, consoling yourself from the fact that he will not be needing it anymore. Anyway, when you open it, you find 2,513 gold. Dang. Let's explore the jungle. Starving vulture. Attack. Kill it right off the bat. Heck yeah. Explore. Wild boar. Attack. Wild boar. We killed it. We are brave hunters. Hungry alligator. Kill it. Oh, he hits pretty hard. Let's kill him. We killed him. Look for healing herbs. You find 40 hit, hit points worth. Explore. The day is growing long and you are growing tired. You feel that it is time for you to head back to town. Okay. Let's try traveling that native village again. And we got lost. Enter the jungle. Travel to the native village. We're walking in circles. Travel to the native village. Okay, here we are again. You make your way through the dense forest to the native village. Native warriors in tribal dress can be seen sharpening their spears. The native women are performing their daily routines and children are playing freely throughout the village. You know very little about this foreign culture. You get are extremely intrigued by them. Okay, let's try sneaking into the village. Several natives notice you sneaking around the village. Ungoa, Ungoa, you no come near village. You sneak around. The natives escort you into the jungle away from their village. Well, that didn't work out. Okay. Um. Did you have to find your way back to town? Well, that didn't work. Stop exploring. Give up and wait for a search party. <laughs> After waiting for hours, the search party arrives and takes you back to town. 
Boy, do you feel stupid. Or if that actually has some in-game effect. I don't know. Um, let's go back to the town hall. Let's get more personal with Iris. No, pretty sure we've done all of that, except for the last option, which we are not going to do. We're not doing the adult content. Uh-uh. This is a family-friendly YouTube channel. Trying to teach you all about the history of gaming and computers here. Uh, okay. Let's return to town. I think we've looked at all the guilds and stores, haven't we? Well, let's go to the training guild. Try to find someone to train with. You do not seem to find anyone who's willing to spar with you. After a while, you decide to give up your search. Can we try again? No one else seems willing to train with you now. Well, that sucks. Return to town. Mended Net Tavern. Okay. As you enter the Mended Net Tavern, your spirits are instantly lifted. Everyone seems to be having a good time here, eating, drinking, and making conversation. The main activity appears to be the people sitting around the communal dining table. They appear to be involved in a deep, lighthearted conversation. In the far corner, a small band of minstrels are playing a lively tune. You notice that there are several people gathered around them. Well, let's check out those minstrels. You find a place among the listeners around the singing minstrels. Four minstrels are playing a lively tune. One of the onlookers begins to sing a line of the music. You notice a sign behind the minstrel that reads, Join in when you feel inspired. The only requirement to sing is that it must make sense and add to the fluidity of the song in rhyme or theme. If you wish to separate your verse from ones to follow, put a period on the line after the last entry of your verse. Okay. Let's listen to the minstrel's song. Sail, sail, sail your ship gently across the ocean. Merrily, 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 merrily. I have brought sun tan lotion. <laughs> there once was a rich old man named Fred. His relatives all wished he was dead. But at his funeral, none grinned. But weep and cry, oh, what a sin. For dead Fred's money, Fred did already spend. There once was a woman named Sue. Okay, join in the song. There once was a woman named Sue. She made such a hall uh, balloon. Not quite sure how to spell that. Uh, yeah, another moment, the embarrassing moment on cam here. Alabaloo, I think, is a word. Pretty sure. Just don't know how to spell it. Let's go with that. There we go. Return to the bar. We can get a room here. We can talk to the bartender. We can sit at the table. Let's sit at the table. You take a seat at the long wooden table. Friendly voices welcome your arrival. Several people are here eating and enjoying drink. Others involved in light hearted conversation. There's a lovely barmaid here also waiting for orders. The food smells wonderful and a drink might be nice, but everyone enjoys a good conversation. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Dread Roberts, it's good to be back on my island again. Iris, I think a couple of months rest will, will you good, Captain Roberts. Sharky, don't worry, Dread. I'll look after things while you rest. Dread Pirate, uh, Dread Roberts. I know you will, Sharky. Make sure the crew behaves also. Sharky, not to worry, Captain, unless one arm gets unruly again. Dread Roberts, just keep an eye on him, Sharky. Dread Roberts, well, I'm off to visit with my old friend, Chief Whoopum. Okay, so I guess he hangs out with the tribals. Um, not really interested in adding conversation. I can buy a drink or order a meal. How much drinks cost? Actually, I'm pretty hungry in real life. Let's uh, see what the meals are. You flag down a barmaid and she scurries past and asks to order a meal. 
And as, okay. Well, what would you like? They cost 25 gold points each, and all meals come with potatoes, and your choice of vegetables for salad, she says. Well, isn't that generous? Man, I tell you, potatoes sound good. I'm on a low-carb diet. I've been mucking up on it for a couple weeks now, which isn't good, but I'm trying to get back on it. But, man, oh, potatoes sounds so delicious. Heck, I could just sit down and eat bread at this point. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are we going to get? Rest mutton? Basted venison, steak, vegetable platter, nothing, thanks. You know, a vegetable platter actually sounds pretty good, too. Um, I'm picky on my steak. It has to be done just right, or I don't like it. No, I, I'm very picky on my steak. Uh, venison, very hit and miss. Sometimes good, sometimes not, unless it's jerky. Venison jerky is amazing. Never had roast mutton. Don't know what it tastes like. But a vegetable platter? Can't go wrong with vegetable platter. That was excellent. My compliments to the chef. You gain 11 experience. Your hit points are replenished. Cool, it actually does stuff. Let's buy a drink. If you like Dana Marvin, she screws past and asks for a drink. Well, what would you like? They cost 10 gold points each. Ale, cider, brandy, wine. I don't like brandy. Wine's okay. Cider's okay. Ale's okay. Um, let's, uh... Let's uh, see, uh, hmm, what should we go with? How about a nice refreshing cider? That must have been made during the Inquisition. Hmm? You gained my two experience. Okay then. So basically it lets you buy experience and health points, that's fine. Uh, return to the bar. Talk to the bartender. You approach the bartender. He's staying behind an intricately crafted bar. What can I do for you today? He asks cheerfully. Uh, today's news. Okay, we've already heard all that. Yesterday's news. Okay. We can make an announcement. We can write mail. Put colors in conversations. Get a room. Return to the bar. Let's return to the bar. Return to town. What's up in the warehouse? As you walk through the warehouse district, you feel that this must be a rough part. Okay, we've been here. Turn to Main Street. Okay. Let's go to the post office real quick because I don't think there'll be much for us to do there, and that will be the last thing we do in this video. Uh, the mail room reeks with the smell of paper and glue. Various parcels and packages lay scattered around the small interior. There's a small man wearing a monocle in his right eye, standing behind a small cluttered counter at the rear of the room. Can I help you, he asks, as you enter the building. We can make an announcement, have a message delivered, special request mail. What's that? You have two special requests of two. Enemies, buds and friends, flirts galore, say it with flowers, dinner at eight, kiss me darling, come out to my island, nothing now thanks. Hmm. What do these do? Okay, it reminds me of our saying for when we get off work. Heinz Miller the Butcher thought it up one day. He said, boys, it's Heinz time. And it caught on from there. Shake your hand, buy you an ale at the gutted shark. Buy you a drink at the Mendedent Tavern. Kick back to the beach with you and watch the babes. <laughs> Talk about the good old days over a beer. Share an old recipe with you over tea. Kick back at the docks with you and watch the hunks. Uh, not my thing. Go to the beach with you looking for cool seashells. Go shopping in town with you. Talk about men over a tall mixed drink with you. Oh, that's concerning. Okay, so morbid curiosity. I gotta check something out flirts galore. How do you want to show your affection? Everyone likes a tasteful flirt, laughs the man. Wink, blowing a kiss, smile, tipping the hat, bowing low, curtsying, you look lovely day, how about dinner sometime? Seductively rolling tongue across lips, whispering in your ear, no, nothing, now thanks, that's horrible. Huh. Dinner date? What's that? 
My favorite meal of the day, cries the small man. Just where would you like reservations? My place will cook you a fine meal. Gutted shark cavern, native village, picnic in the darks. Lunch on my ship, sunset and picnic at the beach. Chi Wung's Oriental Buffet, mended in a tavern, by lips, fine wine and shellfish. Red hot lobsters, nothing now, thanks. Oh, wow. Well, I'm about to have to draw this video to close, and I want to see how we send these, just for the heck of it. So, let's go with Buds and Friends. Um, let's just go with Shake Your Hand. That seems appropriate. And then we have to pick a person to send it to. So, who do you want this to go to? He then hands you a small blue screen drip of paper here you better write it down lately seems same things seem to s just slip my mind oh yeah I know that feeling let's try sending it to ourselves for the heck of it Fritz couch enter you mean Fritz couch <laughs> yes yes I do watch this crash the whole BBS sorry you cannot send something yourself oh well but remember you can ask the old man about nothing <laughs> return to town okay Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Smuggler's Cove on BBSX. We've been accessing BBSX through BBS Nexus. I will post links to these. BBS Nexus is really cool because you can act access these great old BBS systems without installing uh, terminals or telnet or anything crazy like that. You just access it right in your web browser, find a BBS you want, and boom, you're on there. And BBSX, I've really enjoyed it so far. They have a great selection of games. And the uh, SysOp um, Cyclone is just amazing. I mean, anytime I've needed something as far as getting a game up and running or advice on what to do about the videos, I mean, he's been on it within a couple hours. The guy, apparently, he never sleeps. I think he just sits here all day on this BBS aiming to please his visitors. The guy's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Use BBS Nexus to hit up BBS X. Get a slice of history. Uh, I promise you'll enjoy it if, for nothing else than the nostalgia and just getting an interesting new experience. So yeah, check it out.